This video summarizes one of the Pedro Top 20 trials. The EXCITE trial was led by Stephen Wolfe and investigated the effects of constraint-induced movement therapy on upper limb function after stroke. Constraint-induced movement therapy is a treatment strategy used to train upper limb function in people with stroke. It involves restraining the unaffected arm for most waking hours and intensive task practice of the paretic arm. Testing in animals and in small human trials showed promising improvements in arm function. Replication in a large multi-site trial was required to justify using this treatment in practice. The aim of this trial was to estimate the average effect of constraint-induced movement therapy compared with usual care on upper limb motor function 12 months after treatment in people with stroke. 222 participants were recruited from seven hospitals in the United States. To be included, they needed to have a single first stroke in the previous three to nine months and meet either the higher or lower functioning motor criteria. 106 participants were randomly allocated to the intervention group and 116 to the control group. Allocation was concealed. Participants in the intervention group had two weeks of constraint-induced movement therapy. They were taught to apply a mitt to their unaffected hand and encouraged to wear it for 90% of their waking hours. They also had adaptive and standard task training of the affected limb for up to six hours per day for five days per week. 30 minutes of task practice per day was encouraged after the two weeks of intervention. Participants in the control group received usual care. This ranged from no treatment to the application of mechanical interventions like orthoses or attending physiotherapy. The primary outcome was the change between baseline and 12-month follow-up for the Wolf Motor Function Test Performance Time. Assessors were blinded to group allocation. The average between group difference in Wolf Motor Function Test Performance Time was 34 seconds in favour of the intervention group. The 95% confidence interval was 12 to 51 seconds. The entire 95% confidence interval exceeds the minimal clinically important difference of 4 seconds. Compared to usual care, constraint-induced movement therapy produces large improvements in paretic upper limb function. Constraint-induced movement therapy should be offered to people with stroke who have some active wrist and finger extension.